My name is Rizwan Rajak. Um, I'm a consultant rheumatologist and uh, I work in Shirley Oaks Hospital, St Anthony's Hospital, North Downs Hospital, West Valley and uh, 9 and 25 Harley Street. My first objective is to try and get as accurate a diagnosis as possible, so I pay a lot of attention on diagnostics, clinical history, um, and then only then when I've got a more certain diagnosis do I sit down and focus on the uh, treatment and management plan. Um, I try to take as uh, broad and holistic approach as possible uh, with the broad range of rheumatic conditions I see. My specialty especially, we see a lot of chronic illnesses especially, so uh, it is important that we develop good relationships with our patients over time and ensure that they know and understand their condition and know and understand their treatments. But my specialist interest areas are osteoporosis and metabolic bone disorders, early inflammatory arthritis, especially early rheumatoid arthritis and psoriatic arthritis. Uh, I do musculoskeletal ultrasound as well for diagnostics as well as interventional work. Um, and then uh, I do see the broad range of rheumatic conditions all the way from uh, lupus, uh, Sjogren's, uh, which are the uh, more kind of complex autoimmune conditions, to the more common conditions such as gout, osteoarthritis, uh, fibromyalgia, uh, mechanical inflammatory back disorders uh, as well. There are various channels to uh, get booked into my clinics. Um, I get the whole range from uh, GP referrals to insurance GP-based referrals and direct referrals from insurance. And of course I see um, self-referrals as well. Um, I'm, you know, I'm, I don't restrict that. Uh, I think it's important that we make things as easy as possible for patients who are seeking help and care, um, uh, particularly if they're presenting with joint pains, muscle problems, bone problems, um, or if they're worried about uh, autoimmune uh, uh, conditions. So the, uh, usual journey is that first the referral will come through, um, the patient will then um, book an appointment at one of the sites using, using the hospital bookings team, um, they're the ones that control my clinic diaries, uh, and then um, I see and assess the patients as I said, uh, initially focusing on diagnostics, um, and then the shift changes to uh, management of their conditions. I may see them over a period of time, it really depends on their diagnosis and how well they progress. I think it's important to build rapport with your patient, so communicate very clearly um, uh, uh, and be empathic to your patient, especially in our specialty, you know, almost every patient we're seeing is in some form of pain uh, to greater or lesser degree and appreciate how it can affect their, their professional lives, their home lives. Uh, and. Um, naturally they're very keen to try and uh, get to the bottom of uh, uh, what's been causing their problems. Um, and, and then I think it's very important that you, you communicate and try and explain as much as possible about A, what I'm doing uh, in terms of diagnostics, but then also explain the conditions, the purposes of treatment, the side effects of treatment, any monitoring that's required and then any other the purposes of any other referrals that might be needed for patients. So I think the key thing is just just make sure that we're, we're constantly communicating with our patients, keep ourselves open to access as well. So part of seeing uh, having a private consultation is that they will have access to an email, uh, which uh, myself and my uh, administrator um, use. And if they have any cl clinical queries after the appointment, which is not uncommon, uh, then we can kind of get through those things um, uh, very rapidly, very quickly, and dispel any other uh, um, knowledge gaps that uh, uh, might, might, might be there. I've had a number of patients who have come to see me uh, concerned about their bone health, for example. So um, uh, I've had a patient you know, just yesterday uh, where I, I went through her um, history risk factors for osteoporosis, explained the outcome of a bone density scan, the outcome of her blood test, this was all pre her review, uh, and then explained what uh, additional testing was required and what everything meant, because osteoporosis can be quite confusing, especially with all the different uh, um, information that's been given. 
Uh, and what I try to do in, in this case and in every case I see is try and put that in a very understandable way um, and uh, ensure that the patients know that we're trying to or I'm trying to tailor their treatment plan according to their fracture risk uh, and this particular patient uh, I had a messages actually quite quickly um, shortly after the consultation to say yeah, uh, to express their gratitude and that, that's great that's the type of thing you know I think that's really important again in healthcare and it really comes down to being thorough and comprehensive in your assessment but explaining all of it right throughout well, just just know that there is help here if you're worried about any joint bone musculoskeletal issue um, uh, uh, you know I'll always run an open uh, service you know non-judgmental and always be um, uh, a good listener to your problems and try and help you as best I can I think, I think that's that's all of that's really important